Hey guys, today we're going to look at Let's View, the free application that allows you to cast your phone to your PC, use your phone as a webcam, and also record your, P your phone uh, on your PC screen if that's what you wish to do. This also comes in quite useful when doing Teams meetings, Zoom meetings, etc., and wanting to share the content or media from your phone in the meeting. Let's get into it. All right, so just to tell you a little bit about Let's View quickly, it's a good way for you to cast your phone image to your computer, and you can also cast your computer image to your phone, uh, which I think is slightly less useful. But especially with uh, the COVID uh, situation at the moment and teachers needing to teach online, it is quite useful to be able to share your phone on your PC screen and then further share it on a Teams meeting or something like that. You can also then use your uh, camera on your phone as a webcam. Uh, in your Teams meeting and in your classroom environment. So let's quickly jump into how we're going to install Let's View. So on the computer side of things, you're going to open your browser. You're going to go to letsview.com. I will put the link in the description. When you get to the Let's View website, you will see a download button in the middle of the page. Quite easy. Click on that. It isn't a very big file. It'll download relatively quickly. I have already downloaded and installed it, but I'll quickly run through the installation with you guys. So if you click on the installation file, you'll see this select language will pop up. You can click OK, then select next, accept the agreement, next again. It'll tell you where it's going to install, next, and you have the option to create a quick launch and a desktop shortcut. We can say next again. It will then install and you will be left with a shortcut on your desktop that looks like this. All right, when you open it, um, you will land on the following window. Now over to the phone. Let's have a look at how we're going to install it. Okay, so on an Android device, you will go to your Google Play Store and on an iPhone or an Apple device, you will go to the App Store. And once you get into the respective um, programs, you can search for Let's View, just one word. And then obviously you want to see an icon that's matching the icon that you see on your desktop after completing the installation. I have already installed Let's View on my phone, so my option says open, yeah, not get or install. So you can go ahead and install that. And once you're done installing, you can open. All right, so once you have both applications open, you will see um, one of the important things is that both your laptop as well as your cell phone are connected to the same computer network. It doesn't matter if your computer is on a cable and your phone's on the Wi-Fi or whatever the case might be, as long as they're on the same network. So you can see the IP address of my computer at the bottom here, and you can see the IP address of my phone here. The mobile app will actually scan for any available devices that has the software on it, and you can simply select it and click connect. Um, on an iPhone specifically, it will tell you that you need to go through another couple of steps to connect, but it will tell you step by step what you need to do. Um, on an Android, it's a little bit more simple. You just literally click connect. And it's as simple as that. Then have your cell phone displaying on your screen, which is quite useful. Um, if I even put on my camera, you'll see that um, the image comes through quite nicely if I can just find my camera there it is if I go to video now you can then see a live image from my phone on my computer screen which is quite useful so like I said teachers using this where they actually get a stand for their cell phone and they can actually record the front of the classroom while sharing a presentation uh, on their laptop to students at home and they can sign into Teams on both their mobile device and their PC simultaneously. Um, and it just gives a much richer experience for students sitting at home um, and gives them a lot more visuals of what's going on in the classroom. So I hope you guys found this video useful. All right, guys, thank you for your time. Thanks for watching. Please do give us a thumbs up if you like, thumbs down if you don't. Um, please do engage in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you. Um, and also be sure to subscribe. There will be more content coming. Until the next time.